Hey guys, Jose here. So I am, I just recently purchased this dual charging station by Power A. So this is for the new Xbox controllers, the Series S or Series X controllers, because I was trying to use uh, another charging station or rechargeable batteries and it just didn't work. I show you in a previous video. So for example, this one is the original from the Cyberpunk controller and the compartment basically is just a compartment door that doesn't uh, doesn't attach to the new uh, controller so this new one supposedly it says for it doesn't say xbox series x or s but i noticed that the controller does have the new uh all oh, the picture does have the new controllers right so uh let's see what's inside first we got the charging station it looks like they have a some sort of uh, mechanism here what i also noticed is that they include four of these compartment doors now obviously some of them are going to be for the one xbox one and the other ones are going to be for the xbox series x notice how these little knobs are different right so i'm just going to have to figure out which one it is which one is for which controller which is going to be pretty easy. They also include the two batteries. These are, where are these? 1100 milliamp batteries. So that's not bad for a small battery. And it's of course also the um, power adapter, which I'm not very, <laughs> you know, I, I wish they would just would have a USB or micro or a, yeah, micro USB or USB type C instead of this. But uh, anyways, it is what it is. So first let's take a look. You can still use the double A batteries, which are they last pretty a good amount of time, but uh, yeah, they do work. Try it. No. Idiot. That's the original one. I think it's this one. Yes. Oh, yes. Then you just put your controller here on top and then you just press it down. There you go. And now it's charging. There's a little amber light right here at the bottom. It means that it's charging. There you go. And then just push it down oh there you go it is charging so i'm gonna test it out and let you guys know in about a week how good the batteries are all right guys so i am back i've been using these batteries for man a little over a month probably it's been a while more than a week that's for sure and i got some new good news and i have some bad news well you can call it bad news if you like but uh the first the good news is that they work fine. I mean, they do their job, they charge, you can play for hours and it's beautiful that you don't have to, you know, worry about buying more batteries, which is for some people, it's something important. Honestly, one thing I don't like is this door compartment. I wish it was white. I know they do sell the white edition of this, but uh, I don't have to, I don't want to buy another, you know, charging station just for the door compartments. Hopefully I'm able to find just a white one because I want it to match to be white. And uh, yeah, so they work, they look good, they all look organized. I like the charging station right next to my Xbox and I also have the Xbox Series X on top and everything looks very clean and organized. I like that. One thing I didn't like and this is the bad news is that for example, this thing, they say they promise up to 40 hours per charge, right? Well, the thing is that 40 hours, that's if you are just using a regular without, I guess, without the headsets, you know, I guess without the rumbling of the controllers, because I don't know about you guys, but I use my headsets to play. I connect them to uh, play Call of Duty. It's just, to me, it's a must. I can't play with my surround sound or TV speakers. So uh, once you start using your headphones with the controller, my goodness, that battery will drain so much faster 40 hours yeah that's in a it's in a good positive situation 
but the reality is they last about 10, maybe 12 hours per charge. Like I said, this only affects when you're using your headphones or and also the uh, the rumble on the controller. I, think, I guess the motors do drain battery too, but it's more noticeable when you use your headphones. So yeah, that's ultimately, that's the biggest, uh, I guess, not defect, but that's the only negative I probably found. Other than that, if you don't have that issue, I mean, if you don't use headphones to play, these are awesome. You can also charge them through uh, the cable here. Let me see if I have a cable so I can show you a charger. I do have so many cables here. I keep them just in case. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of like rumbles a little bit. And yeah, you can charge them like that. You don't have to put them on the station. So if you're, you know, if your batteries are low, then you can just connect them a USB Type-C cable and boom, just continue playing. So I guess that's it for my review, guys. These are $25. I think it's a really good investment for dual charging station. I like them. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video. You can buy them on through Amazon. They sell for $25 for the pair. I also found them at, uh, I believe it was Walmart, $25. Target had them for $35, so uh, save some money, go to Walmart, or use the link on the description through Amazon. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jolster out.